So today I will be explaining how to get Leviathan's Breath. This is fairly simple, it's not too crazy. I literally got it like 10 minutes ago. And yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is go to Banshee, obviously. He's gonna give you a quest called Make Bows Not War, which he's basically gonna ask you to go find his workshop. In the video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you guys haven't like found it yet, you guys just follow me and then I'll be back. So once you get to Banshee's workshop, you're gonna go up to Leviathan's Breath where you can see it's right there in front. Uh, press E or whatever it is on console and you'll get the where are the keys sir quest, which just means go back to Banshee. He's gonna explain that he doesn't remember the code. Obviously it's Banshee. So he'll give you another quest, which is intro to safe cracking 101, which has you generate data from completing strikes and gambit matches, but note that gambit prime and nightfalls reward more progress. So I only did gambit prime and nightfall and one nightfall. If you guys want to know the percentages, a nightfall will grant you 50% while gambit prime grants you 25%. So what I ended up doing was I did two gambit prime matches and then a nightfall. But if I had known that two, two nightfalls would have been it, that's what I would have done. So I would suggest do Nightfall or Gambit Prime. If you're a little queasy on doing both, I mean, you can do strikes. They're simple, fairly simple. They'll probably give you like 10 to 5% maybe. I wouldn't know because I, like I said, I did the harder ones. So after that, it's gonna get you to the next step, which is Advanced Safe Cracking 101, which basically just means you have to kill Vex or Cabal with precision bow kills. This one's a little tricky because I, First and foremost, I suggest you do Cabal because precision bow kills are really finicky with Vex, especially if you're using something like the Gambit Pinnacle weapon, the Gambit Pinnacle bow that I have. If you use that, it, on Vex it's just garbage, like in my opinion. So Cabal is way easier. I suggest you go to like the moon. I'm sorry, not the moon. I'm. I suggest you go to the Mars or Earth. I would say Mars more because they have specific patrols and there's more, but like, but there's still more Cabal in Earth as well. But for me, it was just easier on Mars. So each progress kind of presented, like it was probably like 1% per kill, maybe two, I'm not sure. I didn't like, all I did was going to a, I forget what they're called. They're like the little dungeon things. I, ah. I'll probably put it in the screen, but I ended up doing that like what four times and then I completed it So this one's not really that hard. Just get the cabal or vex kills if you want After all that you're gonna get to the last part which is economics of war Which basically just means complete the arms dealer strike in earth It took me a while mostly because I wasn't using my best gear and because for some fucking reason my teammates were being the dumbest shits, especially the Titan. But other than that, this is fairly simple. Just complete the strike and you're done. Go back to Banshee. You're going to have the applied crypto security thing, which just means go back to Banshee. 
And then once you go to Banshee, he'll give you the last quest step, which is Martial Archery 401, which just means go back to the Banshee's workshop. And then after that, you'll have uh, Leviathan's Breath. You're pretty much done. Uh, like I said, this was fairly simple, very, fairly quick. I enjoyed it a little more than I thought I would. Ultimately, I do have some thoughts about this gun, It's or this bow. I think it's fine. I'll have a little bit more in-depth analysis on my next video when I do a review for it. But to be honest, it was worth it. It was fun. I, I found it at least enjoyable. And gave me a reason to actually log into Destiny and play a bit until I went back to like Jurassic World or something else. But yeah, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you guys want to keep up with me on my other social media outlets, links are in the description below. Let me know how you feel about this bow. I think it's fine. I think it's cool. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.